Okay, so let's go ahead and fast creating some scenery right here. For example, I have it advanced prone terrain. Actually, you know what? Let's start with new project. Okay. And again, depend if you want it, you can keep them or creating. So as filters, I don't want to use terrain for this. I want to use the natural. We'll go select the erosion. We'll go to connect, oops, right here, the settings. So we want to do very complex. What I want to do is look on the output, how we can save. And right here we have a channel. Let's apply this one. Okay, apply a little bit more effect to this. Okay, so I like how um, example it's work. Maybe you know a little bit smaller effect. And just slightly elevation. Okay, and right here, reduce this power, but increase effect. Okay, so I created erosion. Next, what I want to do. I want also output them, so I'll go to a converter. We have a converter. Next, we'll go to outputs. And let's select bitmap outputs. Okay, one thing when I created bitmap, we can go um, specify output, or also remember, we can um, set name for this. And for example, this one will be flow. Okay, paste this one. This is where. Oops, actually, I need to go to. Okay, and we had one more deposit. Deposit. Okay, so next, let's go to connect them. And I'm just going to connect those ones. So right here we have it very nice. We have a height map. Oops, we have it um, flow. We have it nice words, and we have a deposit. So now when you start output, you can go ahead, click, and you can build and render them. So let's take a second. Right here we're done building them all colorize all have a green nice effect next what i want to do is output them to do this we can go to export terrains and you notice right here we have a very nice already set the one it says not exporting terrain so we need to find why probably set up but rest we can see a difference so we can click modify and we notice right here our height map is not yet set up. So we need it properly set up output. So when we're done with this, it says ready. So now we can do export all or export specifically selected. And again, you can press control button or a shift to select all, or select one, control, select different. So the normal standard selection will work on this. And you can click export all and will, this will export all of this flowing, uh, the maps that we needed. So this way you can select specific map or other ones based. It. And again, um, if you not yet render, it will tell you if you modified something, so it will be yellow color and ask you to um, build if you need it. So you can easy click build world from here again and export after this. Okay. Additional ways, if you have it export as a file or a mesh, it will be displayed as well. So we'll go right here. And in order to right here, and we have it also not build, so we cannot export it. We again need to go build this one, which is will convert the mesh to the ready. And now we also have it mesh output. And you can export all as many maps as you want it and kind of name that that way so again this is was uh, we'll look at the output manager and how it's work